The federal government has been working on making agriculture the mainstay of the nation's economy in view of the abundance of natural resources bestowed upon Nigeria. However, the absence of data is stalling the growth of the sector, among other challenges. For the first time in 30 years, the Ministry of Agriculture is making public the outcome of the 2017 National Agricultural Performance Survey, which was done in collaboration with the Amadubelo University, Zaria. This survey coming in 2017 is probably the 30th or so, because it has been going on for the last 30 years. But only this year we've chosen to present it in a public domain in this manner. The study highlighted ah. challenges that affected food production well, a, during the 2017 a, wet season farming. They include climate change, absence of government input support, insecurity, kidnapping, and poor support for agricultural extension. Despite these challenges, the study shows an increased land area for production, with 35% higher than that of 2016 in all areas of agriculture. The report identified maize as the most cultivated crop in the country, accounting for over 5 million hectares of land which produced over 10 million metric tons. However, the government wants these data collection to be regular and encourage investment in the nation's agriculture sector. I'm a minister in the ministry, you know, for over two years, and I don't think that I have a copy of any of the service carried out before today. That is to tell you that if you carry out the survey, if you collect data, and the data is not formally presented, is not publicized, is not commercialized, you will not be able to achieve the purpose for which uh, the survey was carried out. Beginning from 2017, there will be at least $1 billion, you know, investment in agriculture. The ministry hopes to make the presentation of the outcome of the survey a yearly exercise to enable Nigeria and the global community plan their business. He stressed the need for research institutes to publicize and commercialize their research findings. Kayla Magua, Channels Television News.